two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. I'm the program director at, here at the uh, Upland High School. Uh, I oversee all the elements of our program, which is fairly vast. We have um, concert bands and jazz bands and of course first semester our season revolves around the regiment and, and the marching band and competing with that with that group. So we have staff that fulfills a variety of functions within the program but I pretty much coordinate and oversee that staff and kind of set the, the tone and the direction of where the program is going to go for that season. I'm the associate director for the marching band and I work with the brass. Also I am the program director for the jazz ensembles. There's something going on in that band room almost every single day of the year. It's not like your typical uh, school schedule. We, we start in the summer and we go all the way to the end of the school year and then we have a couple days off and start all over again. I run the percussion program um, and actually there's a couple of different parts to, the, to what we do but um, all of the different instruments that are considered in the percussion group uh, which include all of the mallet instruments that you see up in the front of the field or um, typically in an orchestra pit also and, and as well as all of the instruments that are out on the field moving all the time uh, those that's the stuff that I'm responsible for. Well, first semester we have our marching band which is 200 plus students and we perform at home football games and we perform at community events we do parades and and we also have our own competitive season where we compete against other high school marching bands around Southern California and actually beyond, regionally and even nationally. Last year we went to Bands of America Grand National and competed against 94 bands from across the country. Uh, so the exposure in the marching band is, is pretty high. Uh, that we, our name gets out pretty, um, pretty wide and we have, um, um, we have a good reputation, I think, within the community and in the, in the larger community, our band community, and I feel like our program is pretty well respected because it's a, it's a good music program. We also have three concert bands that perform mostly second semester, and we have uh, two jazz bands, again, that perform and compete mostly second semester. We have a winter guard program that competes and um, a percussion program that competes against other percussion programs around Southern California. We have a bagpipe band that uh, kind of carries the theme of the school since we're the Highlanders and does a lot of community performances. So we've got a lot of groups and a lot of kids performing in a multitude of ways and venues and we just do a lot of stuff. I think the greatest accomplishment for me is when a student gets it, when we've given them the tools and all of a sudden it clicks and they get it and they understand what I'm talking about and they make music. They come together and they make music. To me, that's the biggest accomplishment. One of the funnest parts about being here is having a band that sounds the way this does uh, consistently. And um, rather than any single one of them, it's going show after show and people just sit there and just, wow, wow, this is absolutely sounds amazing to us. Some of the instruments uh, that we have out on this field um, were here when um, I was here in school maybe some odd 30 years ago. The, the instruments get a lot of wear and tear because we perform so much and, and the kids as they cycle through the high school we have so many kids using them. Um, we have instruments that uh, have been around for many, many, many years. Um, over 20 years in some of them and they have to be constantly repaired because repairs don't hold because maybe uh, the mechanisms on the instruments are so weak that they, 
that they continually give way and they have to keep being repaired and that costs more money and it almost becomes a money pit kind of, kind of situation. They keep breaking down with such frequency that it's hard for a kid to make progress when they're fighting the instrument just to make a sound. So if they can't practice efficiently and have any kind of, get any kind of momentum going in their practicing, they're not going to get better or they're going to get better very slowly. And so having instruments that are easy to play or easier to play will allow us to remove that uh, glass ceiling, if you will. You might not know it to look at it when you're looking at the kid in the field, but if he's playing an instrument that he can barely get the air through, then you can barely get a sound out. And if, we're play if we have instruments that they can produce tone with, of course, everything's going to be better. Marching drums usually last anywhere from six to eight years for a set for, for a marching band. Uh, our current set right now that we have is a little over 10 years old now. Um, so it, they start to fail. It's wood uh, and they start to actually cave in under the tension of the, of the drum head itself without you know, having any other influence on it. That, that alone will make them go, oh, see ya, we're done. <laughs>We have needs at the junior high. They can use some of the instruments that we no longer would need. Um, but also at the elementary school, we sometimes we lose students because uh, there's no instrument available for them and they, for one reason or another, cannot afford to rent one. We have a couple of junior highs in the program or in our district here. Um, and we definitely have different needs that go for both of them. And we want to be able to create um, learning areas where these kids can be prepared to, you know, when they get into this particular uh, situation with the regiment, they're not so uh, surprised by the level of activity that's going on and all of the multiple responsibilities that they got to keep track of mentally. Um, you know, usually when kids come in, it's, it's a struggle and they, they have a really hard time when they, <laughs> they got to start moving their feet, thinking and playing and musically and, you know, when they first start, it's tough. But uh, yeah, that's one of, our, one of our big plans is to expand that for, uh, for these kids to be able to have a, a better chance of getting successful quicker. There are some things that we can pass on to the junior high. Um, if we were able to replace some of these aging mallet instruments that um, are not effective for us at the caliber of performance that we're trying to achieve, at the junior high they would be um, helpful and effective. And, and furthermore, it would give kids an opportunity to learn those instruments before they even get here, where in some cases they don't have that opportunity and they're learning some of these things for the first time here. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Huang, this year's head drum major. I am the assistant drum major, Bradley Coder. And I am assistant drum major, Carlos Flores. The Upland Highland Regiment have been invited to perform in the Waikiki Holiday Parade in November 2016. This will also mark the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Upland High School will be the only West Coast band performing at this historic event. As we prepare for the upcoming event, we are seeking the community's help in replacing our aging instruments so we can continue to have a strong music program at Upland High. All money donated will go towards instruments. Please make your tax-deductible donation at uplandband.com. Thank you. Thank you.